Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. I'm live on YouTube for the very first time and hopefully this is working okay. Tonight I have a class at seven o'clock central time sharing some projects using the Simply Succulents class. So this is sort of my practice. <laughs> I wanna make sure I know exactly what I'm doing tonight when we go live. And I'm, I'm looking for... Um, I'm, I'm looking for comments. So leave a comment because I'm not sure if I can see them in this setup. So leave a comment if you're watching. Let me know that you can see this okay. Um, and I don't know, hopefully this is working. So what I wanted to show you right now is just a preview of what we're making. So this is not the actual class. You're gonna wanna come back at seven o'clock central time tonight for the full class. This is just a sneak preview. I wanted to show you some of the cards that we're making. Now some of you have purchased the, um, the Simply Succulents card kit. And so you'll have received these pre-cut pieces. Now, if you haven't, you can still tune in and watch. I will try to share some of the measurements for you. You're going to need Misty Moonlight, Mint Macaron, Pale Papaya, Highland Heather, So Saffron, and you'll need six by six pieces of the hand-penned designer paper. Now, if you wanna cut your own kit and have everything ready to go so that you can follow along, then I highly recommend that you grab the PDF tutorial. This is available for immediate download on Etsy, and you can get it at tinyurl.com slash June 2021 PDF. So this is, um, I think it's a seven page PDF, but it includes a different project sheet here for every single card, including color pictures, including um, templates, measurements, instructions. So you can get that and you'll have everything you need so that you can cut your cardstock and be ready to go. We are going to walk through each one of these projects. So I will be making five cards during the class tonight at seven o'clock. So you can follow along or you can just watch. I would love to know, do you have the Sipply Succulents? This was a bundle that was in the June, January through June mini catalog, but it did carry over to the annual catalog. If you don't have this bundle yet, you'll want to make sure to get it today because this is the last day, June 30th, for the discount. You get 10% discount when you buy the bundle with the stamps and the inks together. In the annual catalog, you can get the stamp set and you can get the dies, but this is the last day to get the extra discount. So I wanted to show you a little sneak peek. I'm going to show you three of the projects that we're going to make tonight. I'll show you these three. So here's one. I'm loving how the hand pen designer paper, even though it wasn't intended to go with the Simply Succulents, it really uh, coordinates very well. So I used some of the hand pen designer paper on every single one of the cards that we're gonna create tonight. So here are three of the cards and I'm gonna walk through them all tonight and share measurements and you know create them. But I wanted to give you a couple bonus cards um, and sort of practice. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing a YouTube live. So I kind of just wanted to do a little practice run and make sure that we are ready to go and everything's going to be smooth for tonight. So how about a couple cards? Would you like to see some? We're going to make two cards using those Sipply, the Sipply Succulents stamp set. Oh, I can see your comments. Okay. Oh, good. I'm so glad this is working. I've been nervous all afternoon that it wasn't, it wasn't going to go right. So this makes me so happy. Let's start with this one. So this is a crumb cake cardstock piece. This is just a half sheet of cardstock. So five and a half by eight and a half. And then I've got two extra pieces of cardstock. This one is two inches by three inches for the mint macaron. And and the little white strip is one inch by three and a half inches. Oh, Morgan, she says her July swap is in the mail. I'm so glad I just picked up some cards from the post office today and there was a couple for August in there as well. So I'm so glad you guys are excited about the great big card swap. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then leave a comment and let me know and I'll, I'll explain it. Let's get back to this card. So for the background, these two cards I'm sharing right now are really like clean and simple. The cards tonight are definitely more dressed up with designer paper and dyes, but these cards, we are gonna go clean and simple. And where's my grid paper? Oh my gosh. Uh, clean and simple on these cards and I'm stamping with Memento and making a giant mess. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I think I have, I, I didn't wet my chamois. <laughs> okay. 
mental notes for tonight. Make sure you get your chamois and lay down grid paper. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do the small one now too. So I was starting to say whenever I do backgrounds like this, I always, um, I kind of make a triangle. So do do do, and then I just keep going to evenly space my elements across the paper. Okay, so there we go. We've got our background piece. And then on the long one, I'm going to stamp the sentiment, you make the ordinary extraordinary. This is gonna be in black as well. And we're gonna put this on the mint macaron piece, but let's just add a little, let's add a little texture to this. I'm going to use the mint macaron Stampin' Blends marker and I'm gonna create some stripes. So I'm just gonna freehand this. And, oh, oh, okay, that's all right. We got two sides. <laughs> let's just turn it over and go again. So I'm just freehanding with the brush tip. So it doesn't matter if they're straight or perfect. We're just doing some some stripes with the Stampin' Blends on the cardstock. And then this is going to go um, right there and we'll add that on top. So let's do our adhesive and Stampin' Blends, not Stampin' Blends, Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, so this is tricky. Unlike on Facebook, when I'm live, I can see the comments and kind of scroll, but I see them pop up and then they go away on YouTube. So if I'm not paying attention, I miss the comments and I don't know if I can go back. Oh, okay. All right, I think I got a set now so that I can see. So this is, this is totally new to me. I've been putting off doing YouTube Live because it's new and different, right? We, we kind of go with our comfort zone. And so I'm forcing myself now uh, by scheduling this class to be on YouTube Live. I'm forcing myself to, to just jump in and do it. Okay. One of the things that I added on as a free gift with the class kit, if you got, if you added on the stamp set in the dies to your Simply Succulents card kit, then you got a package, or you should have gotten a package of the In Good Taste elements with your kit. So this was just sort of an extra freebie, a little free gift from me. Um, so I have some that are already open. So I'm gonna add some of these little elements. Now, if you don't have these In Good Taste elements, you can add any kind of little enamel dot or rhinestone, any kind of little embellishment to your card. I'm gonna do five of them. And I'm gonna do two on top. Um, and just, I'm just sort of gonna like, just dance down the page with them. Oops, that was an X. I think I'm gonna go with all the circles this time. So these are our wooden elements. And so they are a little bit bulky. If you're sending this card in the mail, it's definitely gonna be non-machinable. It's gonna need a little extra postage. You could leave them off for a truly clean and simple card. I feel like I want to add like some ribbon or, you know, twine or something to this card. So this one was inspired actually by one that Stampin' Up! created for the bundle focus. So the original card design was cinnamon cider and mint macaron, and I changed it to crumb cake. And I don't know if I like the crumb cake. I chose crumb cake because it matches the other cards that I'm going to share tonight. But like it just feels too bland. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Maybe I just need like a totally different color for the card base. Do you prefer the cinnamon cider? That's the warmer, darker brown or the lighter crumb cake. Leave a comment and let me know. I guess I use different embellishments too. This one had the crosses and this one was the dots. Okay, well, let me know which one you like. I'm gonna move on to the second bonus card. For this one, we've got two extra pieces of cardstock. We're gonna have a mint macaron card base that is, again, just half a sheet of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half. And then the whisper white piece, or I'm sorry, basic white, I still can't get used to that. Basic white is three and a quarter by four and a half. And then the little crumb cake is three quarters by two inches. Okay, I saw one comment come through. Sherry says she likes the crumb cake version. Morgan likes the cinnamon cider. 
Okay, so we're tied. Someone's got to break the tie. Leave a comment. Let us know which one you prefer. I don't think I need this, but I better just in case so I don't get more ink. For this card, I'm going to stamp the large succulents, and then I'm going to color just one. Now, I find coloring to be overwhelming sometimes. I don't enjoy it. I'm coming around, but I know some of you just love to color. Um, so since I don't like to color, something like this is definitely... Um, definitely what I prefer. So instead of coloring the whole thing, I'm just going to color one and just spotlight the large succulent in the middle. I'm using the Mint Macaron Stampin' Blend so that it comes with a dark and a light. And I'm going to start with the dark and outline sort of some of the edges. And then I'm going to come back in and blend with the lighter one. Now you could do it either way. Sometimes I start with the light and then I add the shading with the dark. Uh, I, I don't know that there's a wrong way. I think you could go either way. Now when, whenever I'm on camera, I always tend to just go fast. So <laughs> if, if my coloring is making you cringe, I'm sorry. All right, looks like we had another vote. Uh, Anna says cinnamon cider. So it looks like three, two to one. You guys prefer cinnamon cider over the crumb cake. I mean, really, you could go either way. I, always, I say that all the time, right? When I'm, when I'm crafting, like there's not a wrong way. You can use any color combination. And I often will change up colors and try a little something different and see what I like. Cause you never know. Sometimes when you try a different color combination, you realize that you like it even more than the original. Now the original cards, these were first designed as part of the bundle focus that Stampin' Up! has available to demonstrators. I love that resource that we have as demonstrators where we can just copy, like we can copy the cards, we can use the graphics and the images. They even have like um, text that we can copy and use. They make our job really super easy. Morgan, this is Mint Macaron. That's the color, the Stampin' Blends color combination that I'm using. Now, it's kind of close to Simply Succulent, Soft Succulent, which is the new in color. Let me just get that out really quick and show you the difference. So here is Soft Succulents and then mint macaron. So mint macaron is a lot lighter and brighter than soft succulent, which is a little bit darker. So I prefer, especially like with the coloring, I prefer the mint macaron because it's a little lighter, but soft succulent would be great too. And when I originally designed these cards, I actually was kind of using both colors together and sort of mixing and, and matching and using them as like different shades. But then I always try when I do these Stamp of the Month Club kits, I try to simplify the supply list and so I didn't want to have like a whole bunch of markers that you would need so I decided to just use the mint macaron instead of adding the soft succulent but you could you could use them interchangeably okay this card's almost done I'm going to add the sentiment we're going to do thanks on our little crumb cake piece and we're ready to put the card together. Now, again, these cards are really super simple, um, but you can do a lot more. And when you tune in tonight, so in two hours, it'll be my card class. Oh, I want to add some of the wooden elements. Tonight for the card class, the cards will be a lot more involved. We're going to have designer paper. We're going to do some die cutting. Um, we will do some more coloring and, you know, that kind of stuff too. But the cards tonight are definitely more avid <laughs> or stepped up. These cards are that I'm sharing with you right now are just kind of sort of a simple, clean and simple little bonus. So if you have this stamp set or if you have something similar, you can maybe use these ideas in your crafting. So I've got a little bit of adhesive on the back and I was hoping that it would hold my wooden elements. I think I just needed a little more adhesive. So I'm going to add one at the top and one at the bottom and then I will use some dimensionals on either side and I'm going to use try to figure out if I need to double up on those I think one's gonna be enough so let's do dimensionals on the back of this to go on our card base
and that's going to go right in the center. You could add layers, of course, behind this, die cutting, all kinds of things to dress it up. And then this is going to go up here in the corner. And again, with the wooden elements, this is a non-machinable card. So you're going to want to add some extra postage to that so it can get safely to the recipients. Okay, there's our second clean and simple card. Here was the first one with the crumb cake. And then uh, let me show you the original. So I, I was starting to say the original cards designed by Stampin' Up used the cinnamon cider. And I don't know how well you can see it, but the, the ink they used, I used black. They used gorgeous grape. Can you tell? Even the ink on the back of the cinnamon cider is gorgeous grape as well, which is a color I never would have paired with cinnamon cider and mint macaron, but I think it works. I also think black works. <laughs> and so that's why I chose to uh, to use black on my, on my remakes here. But some clean and simple cards and a preview of our Simply Succulents class tonight. So be sure to come back at seven o'clock. Um, and again, here are some of those cards that we'll be making. We're definitely gonna be dressing up the Simply Succulents a lot more. There are two more cards, so five cards total. And if you're interested in stamping along with us or you just wanna have all the measurements and everything um, to use at home, you can get the PDF tutorial right now for immediate download on Etsy at tinyurl.com slash June 2021 PDF. And so this is gonna have all the measurements and everything that you need, the card layouts and stuff so that you can cut your cardstock and either stamp along with us tonight or just create these cards at home. Okay, well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in and helping me test my first Facebook Live. Make sure you come back tonight at seven o'clock and we'll do a full class with the Sipley Succulents and five full cards. See you then, bye.